Hello, this is Pixie doing a quick video. Um, what you can see in here is my colloidal silver experiment. Um, I tried to mix colloidal acetate, it didn't really work, or I don't think it had much results. Um, and I was using a 1.5 volt battery. I had it on these silver rods, I recently got these silver rods. Um, as you can see, there's like something like glue coming down from it. That's it drifting down. So you look at it, it's moving. Um, on the other side, just bubbling. The rods bubbling. So, yeah. Probably can't see it, but it's quite small, the rod. Um, yeah, that one's, that one's, um, that one's bubbling. Get it in there. So anyway, but yeah, so um, so what? I've, and in this water has also got almost. <laughs> so I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. It's got some different things in, in the actual water. So I'm creating something. It looks like some sort of silver salts or something getting created. Um, it's quite interesting the way it's dropping down. So um, I'll find out what I've created at the end of it. It's not standard process and um, something I thought of today was about making distilled water I just use I'm going to use a coffee coffee maker without the coffee that's probably the easiest way um, local shops don't sell it to be honest and then what I might do is I'll like, start batching it up and doing drinking that it looks it's a lot more healthy really. um, but yeah so that's that experiment how what I did though rather than a battery is I've I rigged it up to an old um, adapter so I've got the, an old adapter and I wasn't really using it, so I chopped the head off and it had these two separate leads anyway because it's like um, they're twined together so it's easy to separate the um, the, uh, the both of them and um, so you rigged them up like that. Because it's 9 volts, it's, it's more efficient at, um, at one point results. But now, now the water's got silver in it. It it change because sometimes you need something reactive in the water if you've got other things in there that, that basically um, have a negative effect from from the uh, electron electro electronic ions um, traveling across. I think that's it, something like that. Um, then then basically yeah, you won't get much result. But it'd be interesting what what comes off and um, how I can use it in my experiments. Anyway, it's a piece of